Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Uh, today I'm going to look at Jelly Bomb, Jelly Bomb Domination for the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3, which I have on the left. On the right is an AT&T version with CyanogenMod, Mod, uh, one of the newer uh, releases. Just turn both of these on, got to let them uh, boot up so I can show you guys some of the visual uh, differences. Uh, looks like Josh Beach uh, made this uh, with the help of other people. He claims to be just a a themer. Uh, he gives a lot of credit to a lot of the people uh, that he's uh, used uh, little tweaks from. But this ROM uh, did impress me. Uh, good, good color scheme. Let's see, of course, this is not using TouchWiz AOSP over here. So you see some of the notifications there, and hopefully some of the notifications will come up here as well so you can see how uh, it handles them so you have your brightness right there and the auto um, really nice you got all your toggles up there it does come with Nova Launcher and another one I believe um, I'll put the full rundown uh, in the description as well as the link to his XDA thread so you can go ahead and download it and keep up to date uh, this is not the newest release on the left uh, there's actually a new, newer release today, but that's all documented on the site. As you can see, really good use of uh, black and blue here. It's the app drawer compared to CyanogenMod. Mod. As you can see, tons of these are actually themed. Uh, YouTube voicemail, all these are uh, themed. He actually did a really good job of going through a lot of them and putting some uh, effort and some work into them. Let's go into an application like messaging. You can still use all your gestures because it is a uh, TouchWiz base. I haven't actually done a lot of work with the Sprint uh, version in a while. I did have to update a few things just to keep it on a recent release. Uh, this newer version is based off of uh, LG 8 release. You can see this is LG 7. We'll go into Play Store. It's actually called Market right there. You can see that all the listings are themed as well. I did run Quadrant, Nina Mark II, and Linpack on it. And it did score very high. So if I was with Sprint, I would definitely have uh, no problems running this. Uh, as a daily device. So for more information about this ROM and more, please visit the links in the description. And one more thing, for those interested, um, he does say that Wi-Fi Tether does work on this ROM. So is that, if that's important to you, uh, go ahead and try out this ROM.